Today I'm gonna to show you all about LS water pumps, all the things that you didn't know and that you didn't know that we make to make this swap super simple so you could use any of the pumps on whatever LS engine you have. Today here we have a lot of the LS water pumps that you're gonna see on most LS engines. A couple exceptions here, like the LS4, the Bastard Child pump. That one we ignore because it doesn't really belong in the LS family. Uh, the other two not here shown is the LS2 water pump, which isn't that common for a lot of the swaps, and the LS9, which is a lot less common. So the other ones you have here is gonna be your Corvette. So this is gonna be the tightest of the engine block. Then you have the LS1 Corvette slash LS2 Commander. So this one works for dash one and two spacing. You can tell here because this pulley has double wide belts. So it's two belts wide. So that one's the most common LS swap pump that we see used most often. This one here is the truck pump for Gen 3. So these are gonna be your early LS engines. It's gonna have this. Easy way to tell is the neck outlet here as this really goofy looking outlet. You can make it work on most things. Ideally, you're gonna run a forward facing neck. That way the hoses look a lot cleaner on your swap. Uh, next, you're gonna have the Gen 4 truck. You can tell here it has this stubby side exit kind of coming out of the top here. This is your Gen 4 truck. So all of your newer LS truck engines are gonna have this pump. And then you have the LS3 Camaro, which is on truck spacing as well. So this one here is scooted out. This this is unlike the LS1 Camaro, because this one's out further. This is on truck spacing. This is LS3. You can tell on your LS3 pumps because of the neck outlet. So on the LS3 Camaro, you can see here, this is a driver side exit. On the LS3 Corvette, also driver side exit. These are your two driver side exit pumps. So if you need to have a hose in that location to make things a little cleaner, start with one of these two pumps. This one's in dash one spacing. This is in dash three. So what we have here is the LS3 Corvette water pump. So if you look here where it's mounting to the block, where this rib is here, this one's roughly about four inches if you look at it. So this is really tight. This pump here is your LS1 Corvette. So if we check from here to the pulley, you can see here this one's about, about you know, five and a half inches, maybe a little under. So on the Corvette, the belt is actually gonna run here, but on a LS1 Camaro or the GTO, the belt rides a little forward. So next here, we have the Gen 3 truck water pump. So this water pump is gonna be on 99 to 06 trucks. Uh, this one's super common. The big difference here is the neck. This neck is very distinct, it has this bend in it. So if you see this, you know you have a Gen 3 truck. So this is the early trucks that have this. So if we measure roughly here from the face of the block, kind of out here, maybe to this crown, it's just under like six inches. So the belt's gonna ride here is the furthest from the front of the engine. Here we have the Gen 4 truck water pump. On LS Gen 4s, this one's very noticeable of which one it is. Have this very short neck. There's no bend to the neck. Like the Gen 3 is like way swooping out here. So these are very distinct on which one you have. Uh, these are gonna be 2007 and up uh, on here. If you measure from the flange, kind of out here to this crown, this one's about you know five and three quarter inches, a little ways off the front. The big noticeable thing here is the neck to identify this and the capability to run a VVT timing cover. So the huge timing covers. Here we have the LS3 Camaro. This is also for L99 Camaro as well. Definitely a lot different than a Corvette pump. So the LS3 Corvette and the LS3 Camaro, much different pumps. So this one here, we have the Camaro variety. So if we measure off the flange here to the front, this one's about the same. It's like five and three quarter inches roughly, kind of here to this front. So from the back to this area, this one's also VVT capable. So if you look at the distance here, the flange in here, there's a ton of room for all the sensors shoved in the front of that timing cover. So a lot of space here between here. So if you have a VVT engine that has the variable valve timing and you have that big timing cover, because that's what the variable valve timing is, it has a huge cover in the front. The only two pumps that work with that is the LS3 Camaro and the Gen 4 truck. The Gen 3 truck, you can see here, there's not enough clearance between this mounting flange to here. There's no room for that timing cover to go way up here. Cover would really like drop into here. Gen 4, this is a Gen 4 truck. If you look at the distance here, this distance is huge. So on this one, you're 
roughly two and a quarter inches between the flange here and here. That has to be really big. Uh, the LS3 Camaro is roughly the same as well. So if you kind of measure off this tab here, this one's about two and a quarter. The other thing I would tell you here is if you have a dash one or dash two pump, you could always scoot the pump outwards with one of our water pump spacers here. We have these in a variety of like different thicknesses. You could go anywhere from like a Corvette spacing to a truck thick spacer. We have the spacers to adapt any of these water pumps. So if it's in dash one or two, you can space it out to dash three. So that's totally an option. A variety of different even gaskets, uh, like on our water pump spacers, we use these gaskets here. These, we actually have these made in the US. These are a thinner gasket than the factory. So the factory is a little thicker. So if you have one of our spacers, just keep reusing these. We sell these on the site. If you have something bolted to here, if it's just riding on the pulley only, and you don't have anything mounted to the pump, like a belt tensioner, you're perfectly fine changing that distance a little bit. That's perfectly fine. Other things we have too for like remote water pumps. So you'll see the adapter here. You can just run hoses out instead of running the pump. You would see here, you just bolt this to the engine and then you just put AM lines out, put a remote water pump somewhere. That one's really common. Your other option on running the remote water pump with these plates and just doing the AM lines straight out is to run a water manifold that we have here. Basically these just cross over the two sides of the engine and then you could either run both lines out of one side or both lines out of this side, one out of here and one out of here. You only need one per channel. So you have two different grooves running across here. So you just need a hose out of either side. You can mix and match. You can put both on one side. These are super handy. A lot of the race car guys are gonna use these just because they're gonna run an electric water pump that's not mounted to the engine. So it has less drag. Another one we have here is this adapter to where you can run a big block Chevy old school style water pump. So sometimes the guys like to run these. So the next thing we're gonna look at is the thermostat housing. Gen 3s and Gen 4s are different. They're slightly different. They're not interchangeable, so don't try that. The Gen 3s, a lot of times you're gonna see the thermostats built into the housing, like this one here. Uh, also, if you need different adapters, like one that goes straight out, we make these adapters here in different sizes. We'll have them in 20 and 16 AN as well. Make those for Gen 3 and Gen 4. And if you like running a small block neck, the small block necks, there's a little bit more variety in them. We sell the adapter plate to bolt to the pump and you could run that small block Chevy neck. So you could run like one of these necks from a small block Chevy. So it gives you a few more options out there. We have those for Gen 3 and Gen 4 as well. Another thing here we have on the table is to replace these necks. So if you're gonna do a custom one of these or you wanna like bring this out and maybe modify it, or you just need to replace a damaged one, these here, you can beat them out of here. You kind of tap them down and pull them out with like vice grips. And then we have these, these are press in versions. So these are aluminum unlike the factory steels. So that would be to replace these. So on the heater core outlets, so you have the two different sizes here. You have a 5 8 line and you have the three quarters. So the three quarters are large. This one here is a replacement. If you pull this one out, this one will actually sit into this lip right here and it's gonna press into that hive. This is just to replace damaged ends here on your heater core outlets. Uh, next thing too is for some of the truck guys, a lot of the off-roaders, they'll go in there they'll have uh, mechanical fans. So we sell adapters to screw these onto the pumps. So any of the pumps, the truck pumps here. So if you look here, your Gen 3 and Gen 4 have the threads. On those, you can screw one of these on and then you can bolt your mechanical fan to it. The next thing with that too is you, if you don't have that and you don't want to see this ugly part here, we do sell the nut covers. So these just thread down on there, makes it look a lot nicer. Also on the heater core outlets, if you wanna run AN lines, which will look much nicer, we do sell the adapters here. So these will go on here. You just take this nut off, unscrew it, slide it over the fitting, and then it makes this turn into AN, which looks much nicer when you run some AN lines. You could run like a 90 degree fitting off here. You just put the nut around it, clamp this down. And then we have those in three quarter, the five eighths, and we also sell them for the other outlets here on your pump. So you could run a 16 or a 20 AM. 
which look a lot nicer than the factory rubber hose. Super easy to modify them. Another thing we have here is the hoses. Currently we make some of the GM hoses to use this LS1 water pump because this is the most common pump. This is the one typically we're gonna recommend most people use unless you need a little bit more clearance here and this tighter then you could run one of the Corvette pumps at that point. But the LS1 is typically what we're gonna recommend for the build. Uh, on those, we saw a lot of the hoses here. So the hose would go to your radiator, like on a traditional small block engine, which is typically a driver's side top outlet on your radiator uh, that runs to here. We do have a variety of hoses that are custom fit just for that vehicle to make this super easy and make your lines look nice. So we have the upper and lowers available for those. So just check out our website, see what we have available. If it, you don't see a hose on there you can't find, call our guys at the front sales office and they'll be happy to help you. And last but not least, we have water pump bolts. So if you bought an end and you don't have the pump, but you bought one and you don't have the bolts, we sell all the bolts for these. So we have the bolts for a variety of these parts. Our bolt kit here for the LS water pump, it includes the pump bolts to the block and the thermostat housing itself. So pick these up if you need those. For more helpful, great tips and guides, go to our website, ictbillet.com, or call our friendly sales staff. We would love to help you. We can send you any of these guides that you see here today and help make your swap a breeze.